Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna do a preview video for UFC 148, Silva vs. Sonnen 2. Now, one, I, I uh, apologize if I pronounce any names wrong. There aren't really that many difficult names on this one. But I still apologize, because I can't pronounce four names. And two, I don't generally do, like, prediction videos. I might throw out a prediction here and there, but this is not a prediction video um, unless I state I predict this person to win um, so there this is a, a really good card now it could always change because we're like a week and a half away I mean the main event could get all fucked up who knows right it's UFC a lot of injuries tend to happen but from top to bottom um, this is a good card. I know a lot of these people. Sometimes on the prelims, I don't always know them. Um, that's kind of the point of the prelims. But on this one, I'm pretty much... I know pretty much everybody on this. Um, and, a, and there's a couple fighters on this I really like. So that's good. So I'll enjoy it. Let's get started. I'm not going to comment on every single fight. but Because uh, there's a couple here that I'm not overly... You know, I don't care too much about Shane Roller and... John Alessio, because I'm a Canadian, but I don't go, woo, Canadians fighting. That was a stupid voice. Um, Ricky Fakuda, you know, always fun to see someone Japanese in there. I'm a big fan of JMMA. Um, not a massive fan of Fakuda, but, you know, War Japan. Uh, he's going against Philippu. That could be a pretty good fight. Uh, Melvin Gallard fights. You know, I'm not a big Gallard fan. I think it might be his hair, I don't know, pretty shallow, but he's, you know, he comes to fight, um, so, I mean, that's fun. I guess the first prelim fight that I really, really care about is Glace and Tebow versus Habib Nurma <laughs> uh, Nurmagomedov, Nurma whatever, fuck it, I don't care, Nurma Nurmagomedov, Nur Nurmag what? Jesus Christ, anyway, I've, Despite the fact I had a, just had a hard time pronouncing his name, um, and you wouldn't believe that I actually sat here pronouncing it like over and over, so I wouldn't do that. But I just fucked up. But I really like him. Um, in his UFC debut, he didn't show a lot of great strike and kind of kind of a little unpolished. But he does have a slick, slick ground game. He's entertaining and he's Russian. That also means something. For some reason, Russians are just badass. Um, maybe, I don't know, whatever, but I like him, and I hope he wins, I'm not a big, big fan of Tebow, but I mean, but because I'm a fan of Habib, <laughs> Habib, um, yeah, I, you know, I'm looking forward to that fight, so we get to the, I guess this is the main card, I'm just looking at Wikipedia here, um, I guess the first fight is Ivan Mendrevar versus Mike Easton, I'm a big fan of Ivan Mendrevar, um, He's a crafty veteran, you know, he's got a lot of talent, he's had some great finishes, some amazing fights, always love seeing him fight. Um, Mike Easton, not so much, so I'm, I'm rooting for Mendrevar here, big time, because he's one of my favorite fighters on this card. Um, Chad Mendez versus Cody McKenzie, not, you know, not big into either of these guys, in fact, I hate Cody McKenzie, and I don't know why, like, he has a sense of humor, and he... Seems like the kind of guy I would like, but I just, for some reason, I just don't like him. And I don't like Chad Mendes either, but I, M Mendes will take this. I don't think McKenzie has much for him. And Mendes is a top talent in the featherweight division. So, Chad Mendes is going to take this. Oh, look, I'm wearing my Sakuraba shirt. Can't see it, you just see black. But I'm wearing it. Um, okay, next fight, welterweight. Stun Gun Kim versus Damian Maya. Maya is now fighting at welterweight. I like Maya. I mean, I I tend to really like people who got slick ground games, and you're not gonna find much slicker than Maya um, in the UFC. And no, I'm not trying to start a debate of who was the best BJJ. I'm just saying Maya's is really fucking good. Um, but lately he's been K1 Maya, and he's okay. Like he's he's come a long way on the feet. But I don't like that side of Maya. 
because he's not that good on the feet and he's just got such an amazing ground game that it's nice to see it. Um, so I hope he brings that in. I mean, he's going against Kim, who might try to wrestle him anyway, so he may have to. Or it could just end up being a really boring kickboxing match. You know, maybe neither of them want to go to the ground. Maybe they just want to stand and fight. Um, but I do hope we get to see some good ground game. I like this whole wrestler versus jujitsu and whatever type of type of thing. Um, next fight, middleweight. Kung Lee versus Patrick Cote. Um, I want to see what Kung Lee can do here. I mean, he had a tough loss to Vanderlei, but he's still so entertaining. He's like 40 years old or something. I don't know how old he is, but he's old. And he throws amazing kicks. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm rooting, I guess I'm rooting for Kung Lee because I always like to see somebody who brings some originality in there and his feet, you know, his kicks and whatnot are pretty original and exciting and whatnot. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of texts. Um, but yeah. Uh, so the next fight is light heavyweight, and I'm kind of going through the, the, through these a little quicker because I want to talk about the main event the most. Um, but light heavyweight fight, Forrest Griffin versus Tito Ortiz. Always a fan of Griffin. I don't care if he's lost a step. He always comes to fight, and just as a person, he is entertaining as all shit. Um, I didn't read his Gut Fight book, but I read his the one he released after. Um... Such a funny guy, and I know that has nothing to do with fighting. And I know he's had some embarrassing moments, but I hate Tito, and I like Griffin. This isn't a fight that I would, I would like, I really wanted to happen, because honestly I don't give a shit about Tito. Although I did, I did feel for Tito a little bit when he did win after losing for 30, 32 years, I think it was. I did feel like, yeah, go Tito for a little bit there, but then I realized, oh shit, it's Tito, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, Forrest Griffin, I'm, I think he takes this anyway, and I hope he takes this. So, on to the fight, the reason people, you know, want this card. Anderson Silva, you know, arguably the pound-for-pound pound greatest fighter in, in the history of MMA, arguably, um... I'm gonna, this is going to piss off some people, but Fedor's in, you know, Fedor's in there too. GSP is on his way. Um, you know, fuck it, BJ Penn. I'll throw that out there too. And me. I'm in there. But anyway. Um, yeah. Anderson Silva, you know, versus Chael Sonnen. Now, Sonnen's my favorite middleweight. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show a lot of son and bias here. Uh, but I don't hate Silva. Silva is a top five favorite middleweight for me. Um, the only other person off the top of my head I can think of that I like more than Silva in the middleweight division is Mohamed Halidov. Halidov? Whatever. See, if I probably fucked his name too. Sonnen and Mohamed are like my two favorite middleweights. Um, but Silva's up there because Silva's just... It's always... Always amazing to watch Silva. Just he's he's a magician in there, you know, on the feet. He's got a good sub game. People say his takedown defense is bad. You know, whatever. Fuck it if he has a weakness. I don't even know if that if it, I guess it's a weakness because it's his weakest part of his game. But still, um, and Chel Sonnen, on paper, not the type of fighter I like. I mean, I like wrestlers. Don't get me wrong, but got to admit there's a lot of boring wrestlers and a lot of boring wrestlers that go to a decision. Um, Chael Sonnen goes to a lot of decisions. But what kind of separates Sonnen for me um, from other wrestlers is the fact that one, he's obviously got pro wrestling influence. I mean, he was at a Monday Night Raw a while back and I've been a lifelong wrestling fan. I won't get into that here, but maybe I'll cut a pro wrestling video at some point. So he obviously has a pro wrestling thing going on in his promos. I mean, he quotes pro wrestlers and stuff. Um, he even, like, challenged Silva to a Loser Leaves Town match. Uh, just, I love that. And two, 
I actually feel like Sonnen tries to finish fights. I just think, and I hate to use this term because I'm a weakling, but he's pillow fisted. He throws a lot. He's always posturing up to throw bombs on people. He's trying to finish the fight. Um, and he, he's obviously been working on his sub game and whatnot. As we saw against Stan, even though Stan isn't like amazing on the ground by any means, he made quick work of him. But I, Sonnet all it always feels like Sonnet's trying to finish the fight. Which is what some wrestlers can't say that. And even if Sonnet doesn't finish the fight, I appreciate the fact he's trying. That's all I want. I want someone to try. Um, but this fight, now, if you buy into the excuses of Silva was really hurt, and I don't know if that was confirmed or not, somebody, you know, show me or tell me or whatever. If you buy into that, um, that kind of cheapens what Sonnen did the first time. If you don't buy into that, then Sonnen gave, you know, then then you would believe Sonnen's really that good. I think Sonnen can do it again. I had Sonnen won't knock him out. He won't submit him. Um, he could take him the five rounds and become the new champ. Uh, you can't count Sonnen out because he's relentless. He'll take a hit. He'll take you down, and once he's on top, you know, he'll keep you. He'll keep you on the bottom most of the time. Um, I'll be shitting bricks f for every second that it's on the feet, though, because that's scary as shit. Um, but I think Sonnen can pull it off. Uh, his record is very misleading. He's obviously gotten a lot better and become a top middleweight. But Silva is just that good. You can't count Silva out. There will come a day that he'll probably lose because he's getting up there in age, but it doesn't... But you don't really know because he's Anderson Silva. He's fucking amazing. He's Muhammad Ali in there. Um, but yeah, still think Sonic can do it. I'm saying this as a you know Sonic being my favorite middleweight. He's gonna do it. He's gonna he's because he's the people's champ. He's the only other person besides The Rock that I'll call the people's champ. So that's you know a big compliment to Sonic. Because up until Sonnen, there was only one people's champ, and it was The Rock. But, so fuck it, I'm throwing it out there, and people will hate this. They'll say it was a fluke, they'll say Silva was injured, and maybe this is true. But you gotta go with your boy, and I'm going with Sonnen. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been pretty long, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you enjoy the card. I hope it doesn't change too much, and if it does change, I hope it changed for the better, but that very rarely happens. So thanks for watching, and watch my other videos. Watch my THLBNS weekly show where I say news and make fun of it, basically. I really appreciate any subscribers. You know, I'll put my Twitter address on there. Add me, talk to me on Twitter, insult me, subscribe to me, come to my house and kick the shit out of me. Fuck it, I don't know. Just pay attention. And yeah. See you later. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to do a preview video for UFC 148. Silva vs. Sonnen 2. Now, one, I, I uh, apologize if I pronounce any names wrong. There aren't really that many difficult names on this one. But I still apologize. Because of these people, sometimes on the prelims, I don't always know them. Um, that's kind of the point of the prelims. But on this one, I'm pretty much... I know pretty much everybody on this. Um, and, a, and there's a couple fighters on this I really like. So that's good. So I'll enjoy it. Let's get started. I'm not going to comment on every single... So there. This is a, a really good card. Now it could always change because we're like a week and a half away. I mean, the main event could get all fucked up. Who knows, right? It's UFC. A lot of injuries tend to happen. But from top to bottom, um, this is a good card. I know a lot of... I can't pronounce four names. And two, I don't generally do like prediction videos. I might throw out a prediction here and there, but this is not a prediction video. Um, unless I state I predict this person to win. Um, fight, but... Uh, because there's a couple here that I'm not overly 
you know, I don't care too much about Shane Roller and John Alessio. Because I'm a Canadian, but I don't go, woo, Canadians fighting. That was a stupid voice. Um, Ricky Fakuda, you know, always.